Title, National Endowment for the Arts. Arts.gov slash Creative Forces. Creative Forces. <laughs> Caption. American troops dedicate their lives and make incredible sacrifices to preserve our safety and freedom. Supporting a successful transition back into society, especially for those who have been injured as a result of their service, has been the focus of a healing arts partnership between the National Endowment for the Arts and the Department of Defense since 2011. Rebecca Vaudry, music therapist, Nyko, plays a guitar as a man who uses a wheelchair plays a harmonica. Yeah, nice. Rebecca Vaudry. Music therapy is a treatment modality that uses music to help clients reach non-musical goals. Luis was really paralyzed before, almost completely paralyzed. Captain Luis Avila sits smiling in his wheelchair beside Claudia Avila. Luis couldn't move his arms. Your body is... <laughs> Your body is really moving very well. A three-story glass building stands surrounded by trees and parkland. Caption, Melissa Walker, arts therapist, healing arts coordinator. The healing arts umbrella at NICO is it's excellent because of our partnership with the National Endowment for the Arts. Colorful masks hang on a wall. NICO, which stands for the National Intrepid Center of Excellence. At NICO, people paint masks at a table. It began as a four-week intensive outpatient program for active duty service members with traumatic brain injury and underlying psychological health conditions. A photo shows a soldier in camouflage with his head in his hands. Many of the service members coming through have a very difficult time verbalizing what they've been through. Two men view a brain scan on a computer. And this is due to an actual physiological change that occurs in the brain after either a traumatic brain injury Soldiers in combat gear carry a wounded man on a stretcher through thick dust. Or a traumatic moment in general that, that results in uh, PTSD. In the art room, a soldier paints a mask with red paint. And the art therapy gives them a mechanism to visually show it, so it gives them a visual voice. We've had over 1,000 masks created. Masks hang on a wall and conducted a thematic analysis on almost 400. A photo shows three soldiers with their arms around each other. In the next photo, the soldiers wear the masks they made. And the masks themselves are inching us closer to these service members and what it is they're most focused on. And it will help providers know where they should head in, in their treatment. A soldier in a bomb suit wears his colorful mask complete with horns and a star at the top. Melissa Walker. One of the things that we grapple with here is these service members do respond so positively to the art therapy. A photo shows a soldier painting a picture at an arts table. And that's one of the main goals of the partnership is to help replicate and expand into areas where service members can then have access to, to these creative arts therapies within the community. A man paints a clay sculpture. In a workshop, a man hammers a piece of hot metal against an anvil. While I'm here, it's one of the days I calm down. My brain stops working on all the other things that it thinks about. Rich McAfee, Air Force Master Sergeant E7, Impart Artist. And I get to have fun. Blair Deerfield, Impart Director, Ceramics Department Chair, The Art League. It's something we started about five years ago, offering art to recovering vets. Blair sits beside a small forge wearing an apron. Caption, Nate Bocker, U.S. Army Sergeant, bladesmithing instructor, in part. This is actually as much therapy for me as it is for them, I think, probably sometimes more so. Nate hammers red hot metal. You sit there and watch people. Blair Deerfield. Come in without much to say, not interacting with each other. And I enjoy when I see one of those people. Three or four weeks later, they're talking, they come in. Blair shows Rich how to insert the metal into the forge. That's our goal. Nate assists them. They can find peace here, growth, safety, camaraderie, and they can experience the arts doing that. It's that simple for us. Rich Hammer's hot metal, Claudia Avila. I have met soldiers in here that they couldn't speak to you. What was their challenges? But they were able to paint it and draw it for you. Through art and music, we're healing. We are healing. And I said we because most of the time when the soldier come, the family, we're here with them. 
and we all heal together. Rebecca Vodry sings with Captain Louis Avila. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? It's truly a miracle. I think without what all our team have done for Louis, this couldn't have in my family the quality of life we have. Um, we don't even think we're disabled anymore. You can go anywhere, and uh, we don't see the disability, we only see the possibility. At least 